So you want to know my five reasons why I think there's still hope for Barca to win La Liga today? Well, you've come to the right place, of course, because this is the spot. In fact, this is the only spot where you will find the best of Barca news and La Liga related actions and the occasional NBA stuff as well. But today, like I said, I'm going to be focusing why there is still hope for Barca to win La Liga, even though everything is, of course, also dependent on what is going to happen in La Rosaleda over in Malaga between. Malaga versus Real Madrid but enough of that because I think there are enough reasons for Barca to believe that we can still win La Liga today let's get right into it What's going on everybody? My name is Diego and like I said, this is the spot of course for all of you guys who are new to my channel. You have made the right choice to subscribe to this. I want to give you a nice warm welcome. Things are a little bit accelerated today perhaps, but normally things go quite flowingly. In case it looks like I have not slept the entire night and I have been out tomando copitas, pues no. No señor, that is not the case. Que mal pensado sois, you guys are thinking very badly. I of course haven't slept the entire night and been drinking coffee because I've been thinking about the ultimate five reasons why Barça can still win La Liga. Let's get right into it. Reason number one. What? 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 The Malaga president, of course, is a most respectful president and most honorable gentleman who has only had good words about Barcelona and Catalonia in particular. And he has demonstrated his love for Catalonia and Barca throughout these years, in particular recently with his declarations where he just had the utmost respectful words for Catalonia and admiration for Football Club Barcelona, saying that if there is going to be one team that is going to win La Liga this year, if it was up to him, it would be Barca and only Fubo Club Barcelona. Desde aquí, from the D-Spot headquarters, we say Muchas gracias, señor Nassim bin Abdullah, because we trust in you to give it everything you've got today against Real Madrid. Let's keep this going. Reason number two. Reason number two is the fact that their manager, Malaga's coach, Jose Miguel González Martín del Campo, also known as Michel, is of course a renowned Barca supporter, a anti-Madridista and big lover of Valderrama's music. He said, we're gonna come out tonight and we're gonna show that we are professional. We're gonna show that we are Malaga Football Club and we are going to plantar la cara. We're going to plant our faces in front of Real Madrid because we are Malaga and we will give it our all to make sure that Real Madrid will not win La Liga. And we're swiftly continuing on to reason number three. Reason number three is, of course, none other than the fact that the 1 million euros which Malaga is set to earn in the case that Real Madrid win La Liga tonight will have zero impact. That's right, of course. I mean, Malaga is, of course, playing for their honor. They have everything to play for. They are a very honorable club in that sense. And we just have to be convinced that they will come out with the knife between the teeth. Like I like to say, showing garra, hombre. Showing their fangs. <laughs> and will stick it to Real Madrid. What is more important is that 600,000 euro reward that they will get already to finish in the top 10 of La Liga. I mean, what would you do? You got 1 million or you're set to earn 600,000? Uh, uh, uh. It's the 600,000, of course. Not only is it your pride, 600,000 in the pocket. Who needs 1 mil when you've got 600,000 to play for? Reason numero cuatro, señores. Cuatro, cuatro, cuatro. We're moving through this very swiftly like and reason number four is none other than the fact that the referees have had their way with Real Madrid. Yes, Real Madrid has been very unfairly judged in this final tramo, in this final uh, stage of La Liga. And of course had many, 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 very, very, many, very, many, many decisions go against them unfairly. Fairly. We have to have faith that the referee can pull off that miracle just one more time, just one more time. That unfair penalty, that unfair goal offside. <laughs> can I do it with the phone? Can't you see? 
and as the lights are switching off in the D-Spot studio, so are we are coming to an end. But before I do, let me quickly finish. Now on to number five, the final reason why Barca can still win La Liga tonight. And that is, of course, because if anything, we have to believe in miracles. It happened 25 years ago against Tenerife. This week, the Barcelona press has not stopped celebrating our first, our very first Champions League win in 1992, as well as, of course, that super dramatic, unbelievable La Liga win, the first of the Liga de Tenerife's, because let's not forget, it happened twice in two consecutive years when Barca was, of course, in that very similar position where Tenerife had nothing to play for and Barca was in the hands of Real Madrid. And a miracle happened, ladies and gentlemen, with the final score being 3-2 and La Liga going over to the Camp Nou. I don't know about you. I'm feeling like today nothing is going to be able to stop us. Is it the caffeine? I'm not really sure, but I'm buzzing and I'm feeling extremely confident, extremely good and extremely optimistic. <sighs> All right, guys, let's cut the bullshit. Let's be realistic. Today, Cules, us Barca fans, have to prepare to hand over La Liga to our arch rivals, our lifelong enemies, those guys who are in the Champions League final. And our hopes, really our only hope, that Real Madrid do not win this miraculous, over-glorified doblete, because let's be honest, okay? Fine. Barca is going to lose La Liga today, and all merits to Real Madrid. They have been phenomenal. This phenomenal is a big word. They have been the more consistent team this second half of the season. Cristiano is rejuvenated. Good on you, Zizou, for the rotations. I mean, he's just in bang-up shape and couldn't be scoring more prolific goals at this point of the season. That said, the lesser of the two bad... bad the lesser of the two... The, the lesser of the the worst less playing the worst less badly playing team the 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 worst the the lesser of the worst playing football team you get what i'm saying folks that's who's going to win la liga tonight and that will be real madrid the only hope that barca has at this point the point that i was trying to make that real madrid does not win el doblete is the Dani Alves for Juve. Dani, do it for us, my friend. Do it for all of the culés. However, in La Liga, we are depending on lonely old Sandro. That is our only hope at this moment in time. The only player that can potentially strip away a Liga of Real Madrid. Coming from La Cantera, coming from La Masia, Sandro. Do it for us, my friend. Do it for us. Please, my friend. Please. <laughs> All of the five reasons uh, that I mentioned previously uh, were, of course, filled with irony or just based on past miracles. And let's be honest, they're miracles because they do not happen often. And Barca, we have had our miracle this season, which came in the form of a 6-1 victory in the Champions League against Paris Saint-Germain. Of course, an unforgettable night. However, that was our miracle. That was our miracle. It's all on us. Barca threw away this Liga. Don't forget the stat that I threw out in last episode where I think it was Barca had actually won or drawn in the entire season all of their matches against the top 10 teams and all of our losses, all of the critical loss of points came from the bottom 10 teams. I mean, that's an incredible stat. You can only blame bad planification on the staff. In that sense, you can only blame lack of motivation, lack of inspiration. So Barca, we, this is on us. Take La Liga. Uh, you know, it's been five years since you guys haven't won La Liga. It's our little gift to you guys this year, huh? Generous us, huh? And uh, we will just conform ourselves with the uh, Copa del Rey. The chupito. La copita. Huh? And, bueno. And, guys, that's about it. I am going to wrap this up. That's all here from D-Spot. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Spread the love because there's much more to come. And your views and subscriptions to my channel are oh so much appreciated, guys. Thank you all for the support you've been showing. I've been very humbled by a lot of your messages and uh, I've got my first one hater as well. A first fuck you a la Madrid, which was, you know, excellent. You know, you've made it once you start getting hate. So uh, that's it again. On to the next one. See you guys tomorrow for the Liga wrap up video. Adios.